G'day guys, welcome to G-Man Speaks. Today I have a video called Meta Playing It Smart and Staying Single by a uh, smaller YouTuber called Jermaine Chris. So if you enjoyed this video, please go over and check him out, give him a like, sub, comment, all that sort of stuff. I decided to take on this video for a review uh, and give my two cents uh, because this is an attitude of many men out there that it is easier to stay single and more beneficial and a carefree lifestyle. I want to see what Jermaine has to say uh, throughout the entire video, and I'll interject here and there, guys. So let's get started. Hey, man. Single men are hated more than ever, which is exactly why you should be staying on the grind and going your own way. I'm telling you, once they find out you're single and you're ahead of the game, you've been moving smart, you've been moving strategically you've been working as hard as possible but you've been doing it by yourself and the fact that you're doing it by yourself is a huge accomplishment huge all right i'll stop him there so this uh appears to be a uh, big tail guy so a man going their own way um channel or theme channel so what did you say there? So I do have some uh, points of agreeableness with the MGTOW movement. So I, or not even movement, just mindset um, and how people operate their lives. So this is true. So the less interference and less risk you put in your life, the more successful you're going to be. Uh, so as a young man, um, the best thing for you guys out there to do from my own experience of seeing other people fall, fall over and have bad experiences is not to commit too early to women before you've made it to where you want to go in life, before you've even gotten started. A lot of guys, they get on with the first uh, attractive girlfriend and then they hitch their trailer to that woman and then they go with the flow for all the needs and wants and direction she wants life to go and pass up many different opportunities, okay? What, what, what? The best way for a man, because look, time is compounding, your efforts are compounding and you don't get that time back, is to go onto your grind. I know a lot of channels say that, but it can be whatever it is. It's just your job and just saving money. You don't need to be um, start a Fortune 500 company and be the CEO, or have a massive um, you know, business that you're trying to create from scratch. Okay, all I'm saying is focus on yourself, focus on your own future, have a strategy goal um, and plan, and don't let a women, in, women interfere in that. And by saying that, I'm talking about, I'm not saying don't uh, date women, go out with women, but if they want to interfere in your plans, you've got to be able to let them go. Um, cut them off um, and progress with your plan and strategy for your life because the reality is guys and as you get older in life and as you get through and see relationships end they really are uh, a day-by-day -day thing people think you're married you have security or if you're long-term relationships you have security with people but once things don't go a, a woman's way uh, a lot of the time they're at the door they're gone and all those sacrifices and, and um, opportunity costs uh, that you've incurred due to following the whims and wishes of a woman are all for nothing and you're left there holding your cock. <laughs> so I can tell you that, guys, don't make big decisions in life uh, in women, with women. And I luckily never did that and I was able to recover from a bad divorce because I put my head down as well and didn't let women interfere with my recovery process as well. Achievement. And society can't stand that. Can't stand it. They can't stand thinking, fathoming that the longer you stay single, the better you become. <laughs> and they think that you're staying single because you're heartbroken, because you can't get any. Start to immediately think you, someone hurt you. That old chestnut. Because they're brainwashed. They don't know what's best for the modern man. They're just uh, willfully, willfully ignorant is what I will say. Most men will. I've had this said to me many times. I'm bitter. I'm hurt. I'm jaded because I went through a divorce. If anything, guys, I'm happy that happened. My life is brilliant uh, now. I've bounced back, had a great life these days. I'm not bitter, jaded or hurt at all, but it is still thrown at me for the things that I say. But it is programming because men believe success in life is you get a job and then you get a woman or whatever in whatever order, but you get a woman and you marry her and you follow that track and that's success. Getting the best woman you can possibly get, okay? Locking her down and going through life with her. But that's 
a fairy tale that's sold to men and they don't realize that till later in life, whether they have a marriage that's difficult or a horrible divorce or bad breakups with you de facto or even getting your heart crushed by women uh, dating if you haven't made it to those other pivotal milestones, which are most of the time bullets dodged for you because they have huge impacts on your finances, your mental health and in turn uh, career progression um, and other vocations in your life that you could chase with the energy wasted on dealing with issues with women. Uh, I think if I was to say the biggest challenges I've ever faced in my life are due to the actions of women. If I look around at close friends of mine who have gone through hard times uh, or family members who have gone through hard times, it's generally the outcomes of women being destructive in their lives. So this guy is not wrong uh, with what he's saying. And the thing about staying single and, and being alone and embracing that is being open-minded about it. There will be times where you may come across a great woman, a woman that deserves some attention, a woman that deserves a good man like yourself. And there will be a woman you may come across that she may feel like the one. And I'm not. And the thing about that is it's not about putting that off right away or saying, oh, no, no, I got to stay single forever. I can't do this. But in the back of your mind, there's a lot more that goes into it. So I think a point is if women do come along in your life, I'm not a proponent for shutting them out, okay? A lot of guys will say, don't um, take the risk with women. Don't deal with them. They'll destroy your life. Yeah, the wrong one can. I fully agree to that. Been there, done it, okay? I learned a lot. If you, if you have a woman that truly cares about you, and especially this is the really telling time in a man's life, if you know you've got a, a woman who is legitimately and, and bona fide uh, a keeper, right, which is rare, is if a woman is with you when you're building yourself up, okay, when you don't have the house, you, they can't move into your house, you don't have everything set up, or you, know, you could be living in a small, shitty apartment somewhere, or you're still living with family, trying to grind out in your life and you're working a lot, or you're studying hard, okay, you're working weekends, public holidays, or you're working on your little business or, or passion project, every other spare moment that you've got, if someone can sit through that and support that long term, let them join the journey and come along with you, absolutely. You're going to get, that is not most women, most women want uh, men to be already complete, already packaged and uh, at the finish line, as other creators say. They're waiting there for you to come um, and they go with the winners. I've heard that saying on other channels and I think that's very true a lot of the time. How can a man trust a woman when you've gone through the trials and tribulations of life and someone is just waiting there? They haven't earned it. They haven't um, bled with you along the way. They haven't sweated with you along the way. They haven't had the ups, the downs. How can a man truly trust a woman to jump on, piggyback and not rip him off? Okay, on the back end, the chances are pretty low that a woman who is looking for a man already packaged won't have it in her to rip him off if things don't go, go the way they want things to go. I've already experienced this firsthand in my life. Um, both of these things, there are good women and there are women, m most women I'm going to say are going to want a ready-made solution and uh, I, I went through a start of marriage and a divorce and a horrible divorce and almost got uh, wiped out uh, in that process. So I know what can happen if you pick the wrong women. So I'm talking about you can not shut everybody out, let women hang around if they want to hang around when you're going through the trenches. I'm not saying marry them, but I'm saying they're worth keeping around. Otherwise, if they're interfering, whinging, complaining, uh, they want to spend time with you, they want to lie on the couch and watch episodes and series of shows when you could be doing your, um, you know, following your passion or working towards your goal, whatever it is, whether it's studying. Um, you might have a YouTube channel. I'll use that an example. I, I use every spare moment I have on YouTube, my YouTube channel when it's outside of work. If someone's going to get in the way of that, you can't have that. And you know that. And the, and I told you, I said in my other video, the goal, the goal, ultimate goal is not to stay single forever, but the goal is to stay single. For some people, that'll go over your head. For some people, that you just won't understand what I mean. And that's fine. But remember, man, the hate is going to come. All these people, especially from the females, especially from 
the men that are in relationships. That is spot on. I was just about to pause and say that before he said that. So all the sort of judgment um, in my life and the choices I've made in my life, a lot of the time they've come from guys that I know that are locked into the marriage uh, contract. They can't get out. And now that I'm out and doing things that I want to do and growing and succeeding, the criticisms I've got or negative comments I've gotten um, have been from those particular men. So that is 100% a thing. Uh, misery loves company, whether it's males, females, women do it to each other. Guys will drag you down too. They want you, I get guys saying to me, oh, you should get married, try again. When are you going to get married so we can have a bucks night and go away and then you can have a, you know, a new, don't let one woman put you off, one bad marriage put you off. Do it again. Do it again and uh, have a family because you're going to be an old man one day because people project their own um, insecurities. You're going to be an old man one day at Christmas time sitting uh, in a living room, rocking uh, in a chair with no one to love you, staring at a Christmas tree with lights you put on by yourself, eating a plum pudding or chocolate pudding by yourself, depressed. That's not something that would bother me. I, I, guys, I'm, a, I'm an introvert, believe it or not. I'm happy to have my own time. Um, I need to be outgoing for my profession, but I'm happy, very happy to be quiet and by myself. Um, that's how I recharge and enjoy life. So a lot of people don't understand it because they're plugged into what you should do. And I used to be as well, okay? I thought, oh, you get the girlfriend, you go out for a couple of years, you know, she sort of you know, passes through a couple of stage gates. You owe it to her. Guys will say, yeah, you owe it to her. She's hung around with you a couple of years. Marry her up. Worst thing a guy can do is just follow the script. That's why there are so many divorces. Why do you think there's a, a huge family law system? and huge careers and very wealthy lawyers and firms dealing in family law disputes and matters because men are not thinking through the women they're committing to. We're going along with the program. I've been there, done that, put my hand up. So in terms of staying single instead of making that mistake, I agree with that wholeheartedly because that mistake will, will ruin your life or create so much damage a huge quantum of damage financially, emotionally, uh, mental health wise. Uh, it's very hard to come back from it. Those relationships. Guys, I'm about halfway through the video. Um, so I'll just interject here. If you enjoy my content, only for 10K subs in the short term. So your uh, support would be greatly appreciated to sub to the channel. Uh, and if you want to support me further, check out my Patreon link in the video description. Um, or alternatively, just watch my videos through, like, uh, comment, and share with your friends. That's how I get out there. And that'll, that's what grows me. And that's the best way for you guys to help me. Thanks. Relationships they're in. Man, they're going to hate. The females that can't get into relationships, oh yeah, they go hate too. <laughs> they definitely gonna hate because of the fact that you don't settle. You're not settling for the modern woman because you know dealing with the modern woman in this day and age is not the way to go. It's a very high risk venture, I can tell you that much, and people don't accept that as well. I know many men in my life that don't wouldn't even think about making a huge commitment like that, getting married, or even doing it a second time, like no introspection, not really thinking about it because they believe in the dream. They believe in a narrative uh, that they've been sold, that that is what makes you happy and successful in life. Now, I'm not saying there aren't good marriages out there. There are, but I would, look, my guess, because who really knows the numbers? I reckon 10% of them. People are happy. Existing marriages, people are still married. 10% are probably truly happy, head over heels for each other still. The rest are just in it because you signed the deal and you're stuck uh, and your wife can't leave because you give her a good life or you know together you have good buying power for a house. You can't leave. The life's good, but the relationship isn't great. Or eternally, the guy doesn't want to leave because he doesn't want to get wiped out and go through family court. I mean, that's what's holding most, most uh, relationships together. Do you see many old people like full passion on? You never see that. You know, tongue kissing, French kissing, you know, banging in the VN behind the cricket. They're not doing that. They hate each other. They, they, they just put up with each other majority of the time. You know, you go to Sizzler, you go to Smorgies with the family um, for Christmas lunch and all your relatives roll in and you're looking at your uncles and your aunties and they just look like miserable, like death walking. No happiness there. They're not, there's no affection. There's no arm around each other or cuddling. There's nothing like that. You know, just existing together.
because they have to, they're trapped. Generally speaking. So generally speaking, I want to do what's best for me. You're going to do what's best for you. You're going to stay single. You're going to embrace being alone and you're going to get through that because it's tough to be alone. It's tough to be by yourself. It's tough to be single. But any man who can go through that, any man who, who can be great and at the same time not rely on other people, fake friends or, or females, any man that could get through that without the need for people being around him, just know that you're strong. Just know that you made it happen and you did that. And you can't care what they think, man. Because the moment you start... I think a lot of people do things as well for social pressure. Look, I'm thinking about... And guys, put in the comments if you're still here. This interjection. This is a bit of a different video than I normally do. Put in the comments if you remember when you were uh, dating your ex-wife or um, courting her, whatever you want to call it, how long you've been married, how much pressure was there, okay? How much pressure was there from people saying, when are you going to wife her up? You know, when are you going to do what's right? I'd have it said to me in front of my ex. I would be standing there, would be at a barbecue. People say, oh, when are you proposing? When are you getting married? And she's up there looking at me like that. I'm like, far out. Like, about throwing me under the bus here. It's just a social programming. That's what you do. You get a girlfriend, uh, and then you just marry her and uh, pff, roll the dice, boys. Okay, roll the dice. But a lot of men don't think about that. If you question it, then you're bitter, you're jaded, you know. But really, you're smart because you're looking at things from different angles. And uh, with the benefit of experience, uh, you're a lot more risk averse to having someone being able to destroy your life again or get in the way of your success. Because it's not so much even the direct damage, but it's indirect. If you have someone that's needy or doesn't support your goals and discourages you from taking risks, then you never know what you could have become or what you could be. But you've you've dropped that dream. It's like I say, um, I had a girl telling me not to make my YouTube channel because they don't like what I say. And I stopped doing it. And who knows what this channel can become, Okay. That's where men fall over. You know, a guy might want to go travel overseas or go work in a different country or go and study something or have a career change and uh, retrain, but you don't do it because you got a wife or a girlfriend saying, oh, you're putting the finances at risk here. Just keep going, put your head down, grind out in a job you hate for the rest of your life so I'm safe and secure. They don't care about you like that. A lot of the time, I'm not saying all of them, but a lot of the time, that's what it is. Think about when you were going to make some potentially risky investments and you had to run up past the, uh, the wife. Their face goes white into shock because they're thinking about all the ways that money can be lost and not what could be gained a lot of the time. Huge opportunity costs men with women. So that's why we need to let the right women into our lives and pick correctly. Because guys will say, oh, the bait and switch and all that, guys. If we really look back and think about it and reflect on our relationships, there were surefire red signs we shouldn't have been interacting, let alone committing and marrying these women. But we did it. So food for thought there. We need to be accountable as well. Start caring. You start second guessing yourself and all the work you put in to get to that point. To get to this point. You don't want to do that, bro. I'm telling you. It's not worth it. Men need to go their own way more than ever before. And this is real shit. And somebody will look at me, they look at this page. First thing I think, oh, who hurt you? It's just the negativity. It's just that it's just the hate. It's just the negativity. It's just the fact that I'm doing the right thing in my life right now. I'm not 30 yet. I'm setting myself up for success. I wouldn't even say that. I mean, it is absolutely pivotal as a young man. I, I do believe to not overcommit to women while you're still building yourself. Because I'll, I'm not going to go on about it again. I've talked about it. The opportunity cost is immense. And there's compounding with the impacts of time over life. But it, I would also say this can apply to men who come out of uh, relationships or marriages, uh, bad divorces, and they go straight in with other women. And you don't think about what you just went through and how that could most likely happen again because you've just jumped on the first chick okay that's come along 
that would want to commit to you and move in together and all that. You haven't rebuilt yourself. You haven't recovered both mentally as well and, and financially. And you jump straight back in. So I think there needs to be a good uh, thorough period in your life, especially after a serious breakup or, or, or world-changing event like a divorce or a separation. Rebuild your life. Uh, shape the, your future to be the way you want it. Don't just float around like a paper bag in the wind, all right? Like a boat without a sail at the mercy uh, of women's wants and needs and then get yourself into the situation again and then get lined up for a great divorce where you're completely rubbed out. And it is what it is. It's the, it's the route that I took. It had nothing to do with any girl. It had nothing to do with any previous relationships. But I know what's going to happen, though. The key is to have the choice. Whether I want to stay single or not. Not force that relationship. Not force that, that thing. Not chase. Not do things that I shouldn't be doing. Like getting a woman pregnant right now. I'm making Worst that choice. Ever. Because I feel like it's right for me. And I know it's right for me. You got to think about it, young guys out there too. And I'm talking to guys under 30, I'll call you young guys because I guess it's all relative. Getting a woman pregnant at a young age, that's say goodbye to your dreams. Because then you got to man up and you've just got to get any job you can, knuckle down and keep that job to make sure. And rightly so, you got to look after that kid. So there goes any leeway you have to chase dreams. And, and have risk-taking behavior, that's gone. That's dead. So worst thing you can do is get with women early and early marriages and knock women up, you know? People will argue black and blue with me. If you want to be successful, if you want to be anything more than a drone or a worker bee, you need to focus on yourself it's, uh, as much as possible, as selfish as it sounds. you got to make yourself. You get people saying, oh, it's not all about money, G, man. Life's all about money. Are you going to die alone or whatever it is? Life is about money. It is about money. People say it's not about money when A, they don't have any money, or B, it's a woman saying life's not about money when I want to spend your money. <laughs> you can't make it up. But life is about money. You need it to live. You need it to survive. It's an output as a man of our value we provide to society in life. So when someone goes and takes all that, yeah, that hurts. And life's about money. And I'll die on that hill. I'll die on that hill. And it's going to pay off and it is paying off. Big time. Having that choice, man, is power. People can't stand the fact that you don't need to be around people. You don't need to be act like you got friends that not really your friends and i'm not saying be close-minded to you know having friends and, and things like that like i said before it's not about that it's about realizing what's right for you and you're so i think the right friends in life you are a lot of the time uh you are the product of the people you do surround yourself with it's an old saying but it's very true you want to hang around dickheads, you're probably going to wind up being a dickhead yourself and what i mean dickhead a man with no direction or desire or a drive to maybe do a little bit more a wasted potential. So you're going to hang around with that. You're probably going to become that. You're better off uh, finding like-minded friends. Very hard to do. Most people don't want to uh, have a dream, chase a dream, chase a big idea. You're better off on your own then because you don't need outside interference because people, it's tall poppy syndrome, especially in Australia. And all, uh, I'm sure it's like that everybody, tall poppy, they want to cut you down a peg. That's what it means. You've got big dreams, big hopes. You're going to get a lot of disparagement, a lot of discouragement. Uh, a lot of negative remarks. So you just need to distance yourself from that energy. Be positive, be optimistic in life. Life could be what you want it to be. You just got to put in. Yeah, there's risk. There's a bit, little bit of luck involved, but you can be a lot more than the sum of the parts. Uh, and I'm talking by some of the parts, either women and a friendship group that don't understand it. So that's some words of wisdom from me, guys. I've done quite well in my life. I'm not a mega millionaire or anything like that, but I got from a guy who's come from a working class background um, with no real leg up in life and nothing really given to me, uh, apart from a great upbringing by good parents. Um, I've done very well, okay, through grind, grit, and hard work. So you can take it from me, guys. Uh, you will get your reward. 
and but it might not be right away your soul and if you think that's what i might do guys is end it there about 25 minutes in uh if you do want to watch the rest of this gentleman's clip I'll have put the video uh, link in a description. Go check him out. He's a smaller channel. Get behind him if you enjoy this sort of thing. But I just wanted to talk about something different today. And that was the opportunity cost of uh, women and how they can impact your life. Cheers.